Hey, kiddo. How's it going? Fine. Where's my mom? She had to run to the store. Something on your mind, kiddo? I said it was fine, Grandpa. Just leave me alone. Hey, son, you've never sassed me like that. Not ever. Now sit down and let's start over again. Tell me now. What's going on? School really sucked today. I mean, my car's a piece of crap and my phone stopped working. Sounds like you had a rough day, but it's nothing to get so upset about. Grandpa, you just don't understand. What, you think you're the only person that's had a bad day? You should be happy for the things that you have. You're getting upset over nothing. Nothing? I I'm talking about serious issues here and you're telling me it's nothing? Darn tootin' I am. Let me tell you a story. Oh great, here we go. Don't be so smart. Shut up and listen. It was the summer of 59 and I was spending it working for a resort in the Sierra Nevadas. I was 22 years old. Fresh out of college. I swear, this guy treats us like slaves. I don't see a day off here for the rest of this month. I'm gonna see what's to eat. And it better not be damn wieners and crowd again. Two more days. Two more damn days. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not! Who the hell does he think he is? I'm sick of being treated like dirt. I did not go to school for four years to, to work this crap job, eat this crap food. Do I look like this wiener eating Swedish whatever the hell he is? He, he thinks just because he's the boss he can do whatever the hell he wants. You hear me, you Swedish idiot? I'm not gonna take this. No one feeds me this crap for a week and makes me pay for it. I couldn't eat this slop for one day, let alone one entire damn week. Who wants to even live off of this garbage? It's un American, I tell you. I swear. I am out of here. I'm, I'm going to Montana where they've never even heard of wieners and sauerkraut. Ah! Fulgrim, are you finished? Listen to me, Fulgrim. You know what's wrong with you? It's not the Wiener and the Kraut, it's not the boss, it's not the chef, and it's not the job. Fulgrim, you think you know everything, but you don't know the difference between an inconvenience and a problem. If you break your neck, if you have nothing to eat, if your house is on fire, then you have a problem. Everything else is merely inconvenience. Learn to separate the inconvenience from the real problem. You will live a long life and, and not annoy people like me much anymore. Oh, good night. You see, Sigmund Wollmann was a German Jew that survived three years in Auschwitz during World War II. My problems paled in comparison. Here I was complaining about having food to eat and having a job that paid money. To Sigmund, these things were to celebrate and be thankful that I had them because things could be much, much worse. 
So you see, Alex, when your fancy telephone breaks down and your car doesn't run and you had a rough day at school, you want to just come home and scream at the world, you have to say to yourself, problem or inconvenience? Good day.